Hello, this is Jose Fuentes here for Jose Fitz Zone Microblog. How are you? I'm a seer, I'm a psychic. I um, basically been with the channel for about six months. Um, we've been talking about many different things here. I promised I was going to do a, a, a video in English. I want to uh, basically um, hold my uh, side of the bargain and just give you the predictions in English. A lot of you don't speak Spanish. I understand that. I'm not ready to open up a channel in English. I need to see more uh, more activity. I don't know if I would do that either because that's uh, I got too much going on. I'm actually a physical therapist by trade, you know, um, and also a personal trainer. So um, I wanted to uh, uh, invite you to check my uh, personal training channel. That's my second channel. That's in. Uh, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the link on the uh, description. And um, obviously, if you guys have any um, any opportunities of uh, um, you know like uh, um, trying to contact me, or you have any questions as far as like uh, as far as the channel, you could always um, email me in uh, the email that I'm gonna uh, the link on the, or the email that I'm gonna leave leave below on the comment on the uh, uh, description section, so you guys can email me if you got any questions. If you want a session with me, uh, the sessions are basically $150 per hour, you know, so you guys can, uh, you guys know what uh, um, what, to, what to expect. It's an hour. I'm going to leave the link before uh, below. And also, if you guys like to subscribe, you know, and uh, and also get the uh, uh, information for each video. I'm trying to post about two to three videos in English a month. It's really a lot, you know. I got a full-time job, you know, a full-time business and a part-time business and uh overtime business so it's not that easy but uh, it's been um, a lot going on here so let's start with the uh, predictions I want to talk to you about Argentina Argentina again on um, on my uh, visions Argentina the uh, um, the uh, national team national soccer team of Argentina is gonna win the World Cup again again on uh, 2026 in the United States um, Argentina has basically developed a powerful, a powerful strategy to play soccer. I feel that they're going to be exploring a lot of players from Argentina. They're going to be uh, holding up on the, uh, on their um, um, supremacy, you know, hierarchy, you know, as far as the number one team in the world um, as a national team. I think that's going to be very hard to beat. Um, I feel and I see that they're gonna have a lot of different opportunities, you know, with um, with the uh, um, with the uh, um, within the uh, tournaments that are before the World Cup. They're gonna be a team to beat. It's gonna be a scary team, actually scary team to uh, um, to play with. A lot of the uh, a lot of the other countries are gonna probably respect them a lot. When they start the uh, the World Cup is when they're gonna have some 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 issues, you know, because then. Everything changes, but I I, I, I saw him uh, two times already. You know, the first time I wasn't too clear about it. The second time I I, I saw him going to the uh, presidential house, you know, and receiving the World Cup. So I said it once. I said it twice. I'm gonna say it again. Um, Argentina is gonna be the uh, world champion um, in uh, United States 2026. You know, I uh, um, it's a uh, it's a uh, prophecy, and we'll see if it if it gets uh, fulfilled like the first one. I, I'm here just to tell you what I see. <clears throat> I um, um, I wanted to tell you also about Messi. Messi is it, it, it'll more like it, it will most likely retire in in, um, in a team here in the United States. I believe that Messi is gonna be finishing his career here in the uh, um, in the States. I said that it was gonna be an uh, an ominous ominous. Uh, um, uh, move, you know, staying in France, and uh, um, not only because of what's going on in France right now with the, uh, um, you know, with the uh, unions and the protests and all that, a lot of protest, uh, a lot of protesting people on the streets, you know, and actually, actually, as you know, uh, Paris is on fire right now. So it was a, a it's a dangerous situation for everybody. But um, what I saw before about this um, whole thing was that Messi was gonna get hurt, he was gonna get injured. And he was going to hinder his career. So um, I think uh, Messi understood. He talked to his team, and I believe they're going to break away from France. I don't know if they're going to Barcelona. The, the uh, uh, truth of the matter is that he's going to retire in the, uh, um, in the, in, in the States. 
Um, that's where he's gonna play last, and then uh, he's gonna probably, most likely, um, be with the team in the World Cup for 2026. So Argentina is gonna be the uh, world champion in 2020, world champions in 2026. Uh, Leo Messi will finish his career with his national team, and I believe after that World Cup, he's gonna say goodbye. That's when he's gonna say no more, no mas. So let's uh, let's uh, um, jump from Argentina as a um, world champion with something else I want to talk. Something else I want to talk to you. So let's just get a little organized here. I don't want to be here for like more than thirty minutes, you know. So I'm gonna talk to you about the uh, um, the um, the uh, UEFA League. Okay, the uh, UEFA League um, is gonna is gonna start playing. Uh, the playoffs are already in place. Um, I said that Man Manchester City, Manchester City was gonna um, was gonna win the tournament, and I'm still saying that. I'm gonna buy by what I said, you know, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna follow the prediction. I believe that uh, um, it's a great team. I believe that's gonna be one of the one of the uh, um, one of the teams to beat in this uh, UEFA Champions League and the next one. I see him uh, victorious in this one and the next one. Um, the next year, they're going to win the uh, tournament for the, um, whatchamacall, for the Premier League. You know, they're going to be the champions and they're just going to, they're just going to keep winning. They're just going to keep winning. And speaking of one of the players that we all saw and enjoy at the World Cup, you know, this young man called Julian Alvarez is going to leave the team um, in a in, whether this year or the next one. He's going to go to the Real Madrid. I see him going to the Real Madrid, and he's going to play there. He's going to play there, and he's going to be one of the most successful players, you know, in the world. I see him that he's going to uh, win the, uh, um, the goal, uh, the goal ball, the uh, Ballon d'Or, however you call it. He's going to be rewarded with that. He's going to be uh, bestowed with that uh, uh, award, and he's going to be one of the best uh, players on the planet on planet Earth, I think that's gonna—it's a phenomenal player. I think he's gonna be recognized. <clears throat> I think he's gonna be good, good for Argentina. He's gonna be excellent for him to, um, as well, and he's gonna be a lot, a lot going on with him on the next uh, few years. It's a—it's a great player. I think Haaland, um its on his—it's on his way. It's gonna be very hard for him to play. They're gonna alternate. I think the other kid was there before, so it's not gonna be easy for him to go and uh, and then just develop a a. Um, a um, uh, um, position or strategy for him to just uh, con consolidate in that team where they have a phenomenal forward. Sorry, let's say um, let's talk about with uh, what's going on with uh, with France. What's going on with France? I'm gonna close with two more two more topics. France is basically burning, burning, burning itself. I said there was gonna be a civil war in France. A lot of people thought I was crazy. A lot of people came here and started making fun of what I said. Well, I said that many months ago. I said in Spanish. I don't know. If there's an, a video, a, a video in English. You could say if you uh, if you if you could manage to put the sub subtitles in Spanish, everything that was um, in English. I'm sorry. On the videos that I that I made, everything that I said about France, you know, it's happening right now. France is gonna have a big problem, a big big problem with the um, protests that they. Uh, protests that they have right now it's gonna have a uh, a lot of violence i think they're gonna um incite a lot of the uh a lot of the anger of the uh, uh of the, of the uh, law enforcement all the uh all the uh, to, um all the uh, uh law enforcement and people that basically are uh, are, are trying to control you know the uh, uh many uniform they're trying to control that Craziness that's going on right now. It's gonna start getting violent with them, and uh, uh, in once he gets, um, they get violent with the uh, um, with the uh, police. It's gonna be probably uh, time for them to start shooting, and it's gonna be a lot of blood in Paris, in Lyon, in Marseille. It's gonna be a big problem. I feel that that's one of that's one of the countries that's gonna probably um, it's gonna probably be um, sad to watch. You know, it's gonna it, it's not gonna it's not gonna end. I think this guy Macron stole part of the money that he's talking about. He got he used the money for other purposes. There's no money. They're gonna have to work two more years. There's nothing he can do. He's not gonna bend. Uh, he, he's not gonna bend bad words for anybody. It's a guy that uh, um, it's um, it's stubborn and it's, it's not gonna. It, he's not gonna help in any way um, to uh, to try to calm the situation. Uh, in the contrary, the situations can get worse and worse. 
The next thing is about uh, our friend Donald Trump here in the United States. This guy is uh, going to go to jail. Um, I, everybody laughed at me when I said that. Everybody came and started making fun of me. Everybody came and, and, and thought I was crazy. I'm not, I'm not affiliated to any political, political um, uh, party or any, any, uh, um, any institution that has to be that's related to, uh, uh, to campaigns like that. I really don't care. I really, I'm not a fan of Biden. I'm not a fan of this guy. I'm not a fan of anybody. I'm here just to give predictions and tell you what I see. So uh, don't put words in my mouth. I'm not a fan of Biden. I'm not a fan of Obama. I'm not a fan of Trump. I'm not a fan of any of those guys. What I, what I can tell you is that this guy is going to have it pretty bad because um, he's going to have more charges. He's going to be more things that are going to come out more and more and more. I think this guy start getting um, uh, stupid and crazy with uh, dangerous people like the, the Democratic Party. Um, he didn't calculate. He didn't reckon, you know, what was he, what was, what, what, you know, what he was getting into. And he's going to unsurmountable, unsurmountable. Um, craziness in challenges for him, you know, and it's very, it's very dangerous what's going on right now. Um, it's going to be a, uh, um, a situation where he's going to have to intersperse, you know, um, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, facts that help him to get uh, uh, um, um, his, uh, uh, you know, his legal team uh, defense um, in, 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 and try to get away from all the, all the stuff they're accusing him. But that's not just that. What happened this Tuesday in New York is not just that. There's going to be a lot more things that's going to happen to this guy. I think he's, uh, it's, uh, he's, uh, um, honestly, his ominous, um, ominous response on what's going on right now with his, with his case is not helping him. Um, he's fighting a lot of very, very dangerous people. I'm not surprised if something bad happens to this guy. Uh, right now, I see, I see him isolated in confinement, and then he's going to die from a disease. He's not going to be the next uh, U.S. president. It's not going to happen. I don't know. I don't see him running after all this craziness. He's going to announce something. He's going to make a deal with them about something. I don't know what's going to happen to this guy. Just don't see him there. I think the, uh, um, the front runner is going to be uh, DeSantis. I believe he's going to be DeSantis. And it's going to be a catastrophe for the Republican Party. The Republican Party is not going to go anywhere for the next uh, for the next eight years. I see they have a lot of different things. If they have insurmountable challenges that they're going to have to be working on. Um, and the Democrat, the Democratic Party is obviously worse. I'm not happy with anything that's happening that's going on right now in the country. I'm a, I'm a U.S. City, I'm a U.S. citizen. I live here, and it's just a really really disaster. But the uh, Republican Party keep telling people to uh, have babies if they get raped by their fathers, if they get raped by their brothers. Women can do whatever they want. There's another business what they what they do or don't do. You know, it's something that they have to change. They don't want to change. They have to stop. They have to start living alone the black community. You know, what just DeSantis did about banning books, uh, black history in uh, in Florida. It was a bad move. Remember that the black community put a president already called Barack Obama. And they they, they, they they unset a president called Donald Trump. They have a lot of power in this country. It's a very organized group. It's a very organized community. It's not an Asian community. It's not even a Latino community that it could be it could be determinant um, or the or determined, you know, um, in terms of what happened with the uh, with elections. Uh, but a uh, um, a, uh, a, a a powerful force that actually decides who wins and who loses. So um, they need, they have to get a knack on it, you know. I don't think that they have it. I think they're gonna have a lot of issues. I think they're gonna go. Um, they simply will not go anywhere, you know, with this election. Um, it's gonna take time for them to regroup. They're gonna have to have somebody a little more 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 open minded. I believe that Tim Scott could be their 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 savior. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. I don't know if the South is gonna go for that. But uh, the Republican Party is going to have a lot of, a lot of issues. I said it. I said it. I said it. They're not winning the Senate. You can watch the videos. Watch the videos. And everybody thought I was crazy. Guess what? They, they, they did not win the Senate. In spite of the fact that we have all these problems and disasters that this team of democratic craziness, you know, crazy people, are just uh, bringing and doing in this country. The Republican Party fail nonetheless. 
So it's going to be a problem, a big problem in this country because the um, Democratic Party is going to keep winning and it's going to be bad, 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 bad for a lot of people that like to work and for a lot of people that are um, interested in making a living, um, a decent living anyway. You know, um, I believe that has nothing to do one thing with the other. Um, but um, if, the, if the Republicans change the way they see things, adjust themselves, invite you know invite the uh, minorities to uh, uh to be mo to be to be more part of what they uh what they uh um what their philosophy or their um their uh doctrines you know are in terms of running the country will be much better and uh, it doesn't matter if, if a black guy or two or three come here and say oh i'm black and i was you could be black and you could like him and you could you know but guess what millions of them don't like him you know it's 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 uh, their facts, uh, fact checks, you know, that uh, um, the blacks are more inclined to vote Democratic for many years and it's more and more and more because they keep screwing it for their party. It's going to be a problem. They're not going to win. They're not going to go anywhere. So that's basically what I want to talk to you. The last thing was my last prediction. Pope Francis is ready to die. I said he was, he was dying. I'm saying again, Pope Francis is ready to die. Um, as well as Jimmy Carter, you know, Jimmy Carter was in hospice, you know, I said that before he went to hospice. Um, so he's, uh, he's going to be probably next. I see that uh, Pope Francis is, is, is just about to, uh, uh, to the part, you know, I, see, I don't see, I don't see his energy. I don't see his, uh, um, I don't see him glowing. Uh, it's not glowing anymore. And, uh, um, it's, he's just not going to glitch. It's not going to make any noise anymore. It's just going to go like, you know, um, quietly. So um, those are the predictions. I just want to thank you so much for being patient. Thank you so much. I see a lot of you trying to say what Jose said. What did Jose say? Please take what is he saying in English? Tell me what is he saying? So you guys are a little a little anxious of knowing what uh, what the hell I'm talking about when I talk in Spanish. Unfortunately, I don't I can find the option for YouTube. Where you guys can have the subtitles i don't think that's such a thing so i had to translate the uh videos but in summary that's basically all i have said you know with uh um with uh with my um with my spanish speakers you know when it comes to uh the um uh the, the last videos so i wanted just to give you um you know like um kind of like upgrade you you know um give you an update on what what, what we were talking and that's it so argentina it's gonna be the next the next world champion again in 2026. You saw what happened when I said that they were gonna win. They that they were gonna win. They won and they winning again. Um, they not just winning um, the World Cup. They winning everything. They winning uh, Copa America. Um, they winning uh, finalissima. They winning everything. They just gonna keep winning and winning. They they gonna be tired of winning. Um, I wanna say that. I wanna say Messi is gonna retire in the uh, in the states. He's gonna be playing here. Um, uh, until until the uh, next workup, I see him on the next workup one way or the, or the other. He's going to be contributing with the team. I want to say that. I, I want to say also, well, I said also, um, gave you the prediction on what was going to happen to Manchester uh, Manchester City. Um, uh, Manchester City is going to be the UEFA champion for two consecutive years, this year and the next one. So it's going to be there. It's going to be the team to beat. It's going to be a... Uh, um, it's going to be incredible what you're going to see from this team. Julian Alvarez, the Argentinian uh, uh, forward, you know, the spider, uh, Spider-Man, they call him. It's going to be basically a, 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 he's going to be a success. He's going to be in the uh, Ballon d'Or. Um, pretty consistent. I believe he's going to probably take it as soon as he starts playing for Real Madrid. He's going to go to the Real Madrid. Um, he's going to be... He's gonna be a uh, um, a successful, um, basically a uh, um, one of the best players that you guys can uh, imagine for his generation. I believe that uh, it's gonna be hard to uh, to uh, beat what Ronaldo did and uh, uh, as a forward, but it's gonna be pre pretty much up there. He's gonna fulfill. A lot of his goals can be the best, one of the best, the best, the best uh, uh, forwards that the world ever seen. It's gonna basically consolidate in um, Spain, and that's what's gonna happen. Pope Francis is ready to die. Jimmy Carter is ready to die. Uh, Donald Trump is gonna get confined. He's gonna go to jail. One or the other. He's not gonna win. He's, I don't know. I don't see him running. But if that's the case, he's not gonna win anything. 
the Republican Party are pretty much done. This is Jose Fuentes. Uh, thank you so much for your for your patience. Thank you so much for being um, for being uh, uh, steadfast to the channel. If you're here, um, I want you to subscribe. We're gonna have uh, a few videos a month. I think the information that I'm telling you is just enough, and it's just a summary of what I've been talking to my followers, fans, however you want to call it. Um, and I want to just give you an update of what was going on. And that's what I have said so far. Thank you so much. God bless you.